Hopefully a new potty. Hopefully you can hear me well. Anyhow. It's been a while since I've done a video. This is actually my second video that I'm actually going to upload. If you see my first one, which I should, I'm going to link up above, so just, you know, hit the subscribe button. Thank you, please. In my first video, I spoke about just not getting and being at the place that I should be. Um, in my life because of poor decisions and I thought when I made that video many months ago because now it is August 2019 I thought it was going to be um what's the right word it's, it's just like uh, basically the thing that was going to shoot me forward towards doing what I need to do because I believe that success is for it. I know success. Success is for everyone. And I really have been watching for the last seven years a lot of YouTubers just interested in their stories, you know, whether it's funny, whether it's a tutorial or something else. And I know YouTube is a big market, but I always believe that you should do things that make you happy, not just money because the love of money is the root to all evil. Not money, just the love of it. And I knew that if I was to do YouTube to help myself and family, my family out financially, it has to be in a way that's something that I like to do. You know, I do like to talk and I do love watching YouTube videos. Very interesting. I'm very so Let's see if mine has become so popular. So anyway, I'm trying to think of a channel name, even though you'll see something that it should be. But I've started, you know, in my first video, I spoke about that I'm a dancer, I'm a dance teacher. And I love what I do. I don't want to do anything else. But the reality is that it, it does not pay enough of the bill. It's a struggle. Um, have some dancers made it big time? Yes, of course, the stars like Jennifer Lopez and others that we may not hear their names because they're in the background, but they work with stars so they're doing well. And I'm not just talking about them because you can make a good living off of being a dance teacher or let's say a decent, you know, a decent um, income. Um, but that's not my story. Uh, so, anyhow. I'm not going to give up teaching. That's my love. I have a dance for oh, movies of change dance academy. Um, so in my profession that I did before, which I think is in the first video, I can't remember. See, I have to change the long couple. I spoke about what I I'm gonna I'm pause it a little bit. You don't see me looking a lot to the right I'm on a on a bus going to work. So basically I decided to um, come out of the secretary of the field, which is what I did for so many years. Um, I was the executive secretary and I also went back and forth being a word processor. And I made decent money and if I had stayed in that field, I could be making very, very good income, very good. Um, but I came out of it. I mean, I was good at it, and that's not a bragging thing because I'm not a bragging thing. But I knew what I was doing. I just got bored. That's it. I just got bored. I got into it because my mother was a secretary of the secretary, and it just kind of made me see the organization just because she brought that type of spiritual issues. She was very organized. And it was just something that would interest me because I ended up going to school and get a degree in administrative assistance, you know. Um, when I should have gone to school to be a dance, I knew I was what I always wanted to do. So I temped for years, years, I temped, I didn't really have any other job. I had two permanent jobs in my life. That's because I think I got that because I was like, you need a permanent. But I was temping all the years and never work I out of a job for the most part and the reason why any time that I was is because I chose to because it's time to get you that freedom and of course I'm a dancer so you know it's that thing inside of me that you just need that space which is good because God God wired me like that but he also defines us to work in excellence and to work in order and God is one who said if you read the Bible he said for man and that's good. When he says man, he just means male and female. But man does not 
God's glory. Just think about that. Have a blessed day.